Uh, hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Um, Ellie and I, of course, are having a great day. Um, yeah, so I hope... This is... It's funny how, like, it doesn't matter how many times I put myself in front of the camera, sometimes my words still struggle to uh, come out. Anyway, hi everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, just going intuitively uh, to, like, Again, like I said, no matter how many times I do the video, sometimes my words just like stop and stammer, and that's all part of it. And I know that if I was to stop, start, I would just delete the video and then do it again and then do it again. And I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to go with it. Anyway, so it doesn't matter how many times you practice some things. Sometimes you just need more practice, and that's all part of it. Um... Behind me is just some of the list of different things that I've had to do the last several years and stuff to to get re relearn some of the things I needed to learn along the way. And I knew in my early teen years and stuff as to where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do, and by no means am I doing those things yet because most of the things I created and designed are way too ahead of their time for the market all right the the amount of pushback i've got each time of trying to trying to introduce any one of these things 25 years 20 years ago 15 years ago etc was more resistance than i would have been able to survive in the market for so i knew each time that i needed to learn something else extra to get me at least building the resources i needed right to uh to create these things however what i did not realize when i first plotted these things out is how much i really needed to know about everything else in order to sustain it um i knew that to create a really good relationship i needed to know more about myself and others and how to create a great relationship and so in my early teenage years, I did a psychology course of which was absolutely fucking useless compared to every other thing I've done since. Because every other challenge since and every other um, event that we've gone through since has taught me way, way more about psychology and the way we are as a person, as a species, uh, as we are as an animal, than that bullshit course would ever, ever allude to. Right, let alone the amount of labels that are in there that just are uh, crap. So I knew I had to find other answers. And when I went along the way of, uh, so for example, when I went along the way of realizing, well, I wanted to build my businesses and everything else with a partner, with a wife which meant I needed to learn more about women and, okay, what do they want, right? So I would learn more about romance and everything else. And, of course, the universe has a great sense of humor where I did all this great research on romance, planned a beautiful big wedding and all that sort of stuff and end up marrying someone with absolutely no romantic bone in their body. So, you know, that, I found that quite funny. But, like, the irony is still bit us both in the ass where our journey is probably one of the most romantic stories that hasn't been told so you know it, it, it it's like you go up and down and stuff and, and the universe finds a way of being funny at every twist and turn anyway so what i found over all these different experiences and the ups and downs up to the 250 million dollar level to the 50 to the 11 to the 12 and all those sorts of things right is that to go past the uh, 50 million level, 100 million level, 250 million level, you really need uh, the extra set of skills, okay? However, for those that I've helped get to the $3 million type home, $10 million type lifestyle, the, the, that type of thing, they didn't need all that much, right? They mostly needed uh, the healthy body, mind, spirit, relationships and wealth, knowledge and the wealth knowledge only had to be on one or two of these things they didn't have to be multi multifaceted like i have to be right 
So if they wanted to concentrate on one particular avenue, then they would just concentrate on that one particular avenue because that's what they wanted to do and they just wanted to build up their resources. They didn't really have much of a plan after that. And that's okay, that's all well and good, all right? But it also showed me that building this uh, program, building these groups and stuff was a really great idea because I, if I can create a fair few other people like that, then I can create my future CEOs a lot easier. Right, but what I'm saying there is like to get to that level, they only needed to know a couple of things about a couple of these different markets. Right, so the property investor doesn't necessarily need to know everything that there is about property development or property options. They probably won't need to know everything about how to do extended settlements for renovation, flip projects, that sort of stuff. Unless that's part of their strategy, um, you know, if they if their strategy was just property investment, then there are just nuances that can quite easily be taught in property investment and things you need to be aware of, so as to understand the difference between pro uh, financial planning versus uh, the E word that you know you don't want to get flagged for. All right, um, and also strategy versus advice, you know of which this is strategy. Okay, um, there are other things as well, like some people may uh, have more comfort just choosing a couple of things and marketing the hell out of those, uh, or they might want to uh, write a movie, uh, that type of thing is also intellectual property, which you can keep on paying and paying and paying, but it takes a fair bit of upfront investment, um, unless you, just practice by pumping out and pumping out, pumping out, and you get better that way, which can also build up a YouTube channel in doing that. And the YouTube channel itself, as that grows, can, can also pay you once you get past a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours, those type of things, and plus with affiliates. But like the point is and stuff, to just get to the $3 million home, the $10 million type uh, liquid cash lifestyle, you don't necessarily need to know all of these, right? Just a few of these will suffice, right? And more importantly, right, as long as you've got the details as to what you're going to do and just repeat, 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 then the more important thing you need to work on once you've got that part down pat is your self-work, okay? That's actually more important once you've got this part working, okay? Because the self-work will help you keep what you're building. Right. So as I said, the site course is absolutely useless, but there are so many different programs out there and stuff that I've gone through to work out the, the, how to heal the traumas, how to, to balance out the anxieties and how to make anxiety serve us rather than the other way around or and have anxiety block us. Right. Um, understanding how our legal system is, not how many people legal, uh, have, not many, how many people uh, think it, no man, understanding how the legal system is versus how it's presented is a very big key in all of these as well. And unfortunately, we had the life experience of having gone through that in multi facets. And the fortunate thing for you guys is that we can teach you what not to do and what things to be careful of because uh, your relationships, your social circle, and stuff will keep you out of the legal problems more often than anything else. Because you gotta remember, every single business or investment, uh, opportunity, problem, presentation, or anything like that, is still a human thing. Because you're not doing business with other animals, you're only doing it with our species, as far as we know. All right? Unless you've got some sort of um, extraterrestrial contact that I'm not aware of. You're, you're going to be doing business with humans. You're going to be investing with humans. You have to understand other humans. And if you can't understand yourself, you're not going to be able to understand them. So that's why I say the self-work is way more important. Because understanding where our traumas come from and understanding where, our, um, where we need to spiritually lighten and enlighten ourselves and I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about actual enlightenment of understanding what is me, who is me, how am I, where would I like to be, versus am I carrying someone else's crap? 
Okay, it's a very important thing to understand energetically, spiritually, and like intelligently. You know, intellectually understanding how we are energetically and everything else. Okay, so if you want to get to that particular level, all the stuff, which is what I want to try and get three thousand people to that level, you don't need to know all of this, right? As long as you can learn some of it, you can get there. Okay. I can teach all of this because the things I have planned actually do involve all of this, okay? And this is what I was saying before uh, in one of the other episodes is the fact that the universe does have a very frank sense of humor. Um, I said that in this one as well, uh, where like when you're putting your jumper on or t-shirt and the first thing in the morning and you accidentally punch yourself in the face. Well, you know, I've had the punch in the face. I've worked out exactly where I needed to work on. Right, so when my health uh, gave me a heart attack at 27, and my cholesterol was at 97, and uh, nine, sorry, 9.7, and everything else, they were wondering why it wasn't I have, why I wasn't having more heart attacks. You know, I realized that was my kick in the face uh, to really start taking on my health. All right, and once we realized how much we've been lying to and lied to and lied to in health, the the healthier and healthier I got because we're like the the more you reveal truth and the more you take action once you learn that truth the healthier you'll become you know once i worked out how to master my anxiety my anxiety and energetically put these barriers up so to prevent toxic people and narcissists coming in our energetic barriers it was really easy to let go of the smokes and also let go of the processed foods more often more than anything else you know, to cut out sugars out of our life, to really respect ourselves overall. There's so many people out there that think that they're respecting themselves and they're just simply not, right? The way to respect yourself is to respect your mind, body, and spirit, everything, okay? And your future and your time, okay? And many other things, but those are the main five. Right? Mind, body, spirit, and your future and time. You know, your future and time aren't necessarily the same thing. Because you may have someone right now that is just a waste of time. Okay? And it's up to you whether or not you're going to allow them to keep wasting your time now. Or you're going to cut them off so you can save your future. Okay? Or there could be someone in your life right now where... You know you need to spend more time with that person because every single time you spend time with that particular person, you feel more respected, you learn more than you realize, and you're able to make bigger leaps forward easier, right? And that comes in investing yourself, coaching, and any other guidance and stuff you may need, right? But the point is and stuff, the more you respect yourself, the more you invest in yourself, then the more progress you will make. And the more progress you'll be able to sustain and maintain along the time, a long, a long time. All right. So uh, again, Facebook is not letting me see who's watching. So if you're watching, please do hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, do please do hashtag replay. And if you are getting value out of this, please do hashtag value. Um, you know. As I said, if you want to get three million dollar home, ten million dollar type liquid life, type, liquid cash type of lifestyle as a baseline, which is what the whole group's for to get three thousand of you to that level, right? You know, to, to just get to that level and just grow it from that level, right? You don't need all of these, just a few, but yet the more important ones will be there: mind, body, mind, body, spirit, relationships, wealth, respecting your time, respecting your future, respecting yourself. You know. Once you've got a couple of these uh, worked out and you know exactly what you do, you've got a repeatable system, that these are the parts you need to work on after that. Because any trauma bonds, anything you do not do self-work on for, uh, self-work on um, for your future, they will come back and bite you in the ass. Right? So if you get the tap on the shoulder... I highly suggest you take the tap of the shoulder to say, look, you've got an opportunity here to learn this thing that you need to learn rather than waiting for later on where the universe has tapped you on the shoulder several times. It's like, nah, you're not listening. Punch you in the face type deal. We don't want that. We've had to experience that too many times to count. That's why we're doing many, many, many things extra this last couple of years because we know 
Um, not only is everything looking great to move forward, forward with all of our projects in property and in my robotics and with a little one along the way and everything else, um, the, the synchronicities are just beautifully lining up to make that all work and they're revealing little extra like bonuses along the way which uh, you, you don't quite expect them until you, 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 until you progress a fair way along. Anyway, so I know this one's a, bit, a little bit rambly. But, uh, I didn't actually plan uh, a lot as to what I was going to say today because it kept on uh, sticking and stammering inside my head before I clicked the button, as you would have seen in the first minute or so. But even, even so, I'm pretty sure I've covered the things I wanted to say. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.